Quad Country 101 here, and before we get started, I'd like to give my shout out, my morning uh, notification squad shout out to today's notification squad winner is Aaron Wright. Aaron Wright was the first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins a shout out. So, congratulations, Aaron Wright. Good morning, Quad Copter 101 here, and I really do have an interesting Quad Copter for you today. This is the Eshin Lizard 105S, the new Eshin Lizard 105S. This is a really cool quad copter, at least on paper. We're going to see how well it flies today. But uh, what, what's so special about it? Well, it's got an Omnibus F4 flight control board uh, loaded up with Betaflight 3.2.0. Its motors are 1104, 6,000 kV motors. Um, it has a BS28 amp 4-in-1 uh, D-Shot 600 ESC, uh, DS28A. I don't know if that means 28 amp. Probably does. <laughs> also, it has on-screen display, uh, and you can adjust the PIDs with that on-screen display. It has a uh, 4S. It comes with actually a 4S battery, folks. 550 milliamp hour ADC battery. That's a pretty dang hefty battery on it. It has 48 channel, 25 and 200 milliwatt um, FPV transmitter, along with a UH or UXII antenna, right-hand circular polarized. This is actually a pretty nifty antenna. Uh, for um, FPV, uh, mainly it's meant to uh, more make a more spherical uh, uh, version of uh, output from the antenna, so that no matter what you're yanking and banking, hopefully that you know you'll have uh, equivalent uh, reception on your uh, receiver. Um, I forgot to mention it's camera. It's camera 720p, and it comes with a digital video recorder right there, DVR. So that's pretty dang cool too. I'll go over that recorder here in a second. Uh, I want to make sure I hit all the uh, things about this. 60 millimeter props, four bladed props, has LED and beeper on the back, and uh, also comes with prop guards. It's available in Free Sky XM, Fly Sky, and DSMX. So those are the main points of this quadcopter. Lots and lots of features. I did mention that it has a digital video recorder, so you can actually record in-flight video. This is the DVR, and there's my micro SD card uh, inserted in the slot there. Um, it's easy to get the, the card in, but to get the card out, you're going to need a pair of tweezers to pull it back out. But I hope you can see it right behind the ribbon cable is that card. You have to push down the ribbon cable to get the card in. Um, the start and stop video recording, this was another thing I had to, to figure out. This is the button here, folks. To, uh, it actually starts recording as soon as you plug in the battery, but if you want to, you know, do your flight and after you land, make sure to hit this button to stop the recording. Otherwise, you will corrupt the video recording. So you, you got to remember to hit this button. You see a blinking blue light up here. That's the, the digital video recorder telling you it's recording. And to stop that recording, that light has to turn to solid. And to do such, you have to hit this button here. So, oh no, again, a very interesting quadcopter. Um, it does look a little flimsy here, but look at these arms here. They are, they are uh, what is it, parallel <laughs> with the expected uh, uh, force direction. So these uh, composite arms here, the way that they're, the geometric direction that they're pointed, should provide a lot of strength, actually, um, with the exception of side impacts. And to pr protect them in side impacts, that's what this bar here is for, uh, to strengthen them up for, for side impacts, because that would be the weakest point. <laughs> and the force is going in this direction, and that's, that's what this brace here is here for. So, you know, it, some people have been saying, oh, that looks pretty flimsy. Well, I don't know. You know, it's designed to provide it some strength, so it has cross brace, and that should help it. So let's go for a flight of this thing, actually, and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, let's take the Lizard 105S up in angle mode. I got it's recording right now. I want to show you real quick before I do this. See the blinking blue light? That means the DVR is recording. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'll bring it up closer. So DVR is recording, and let's take off. See how it performs. Uh, arming the motors, and let's see what this thing feels like. Bring it a little closer. Gentle flight by. Fly by, and then lots of punch. <laughs> and again, you should expect a lots of punch from a 4S battery. Bringing it back again, and what's that thing scream? <laughs> okay, I just wanted to do a couple punches. 
Yeah, let's bring it back in. I really wanted to fly it acro. See how it flies in acro mode. Is a, you know, can it be a good racer? Yeah. I got the uh, the lens pointed up a bit, so I'm hoping it'll, it can. I can get it going fast here. We're gonna see. So let's go for acro flight of this thing. Okay, selecting acro, and put my goggles on, and it, it's actually a nice picture. Really nice picture. Let me move this back a little bit. And arming the motors. We are armed, and it says acro. Yeah, it's acro. So here we go. Let's hope it flies well. Okay, let me get a feel for it first. Want to run? Can it go around the pole without uh, losing reception? Yeah, yeah. Going to come up here and do a roll. Trying to roll. Going this way, and let's do a that and now let's take it for a ride around the my wife's keeping an eye out for people can I let's see how far I can go out before I start getting a little fuzzy that's about it right there I think I'm still in 25 milliwatt I didn't set it to, to uh, 200 I don't set it to 200 usually out here because I really don't need it okay that's Go out a little bit here and go around that pole. Coming down fast by us. Going around the trees. Going by us again. Very nicely. I'm using the stock pids, folks. Uh, I did 3.2.0 that come with it. They seem to be good. Yeah, I want to go over those trees because it was going into the sun there. Going into the sun, it, I was blinding myself. The sun's pretty low right now, as you can see by the shadows. Nice quad cover. It darkens out though, when that sun, the contrast of the, uh, the sun Darkens the picture out quite a bit. Let's do that again to show you. See, see what I mean? But it, it's maneuverable. It certainly is maneuverable. My voltage is still good, 3.5 volts per cell. I like that it monitors all four of the cells and gives you an average voltage per cell. I don't like doing that in my head. Because <laughs> when you go from different 3S, 2S, 3S, and 4S batteries, you go, oh, what's that voltage I should be landing? Well, now you don't have to worry about it. Just monitor the average voltage per cell. Nice little quad. Actually, a real, it better be nice. I think this ain't a cheap quad by any means. <laughs> nice quad. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. It's going to be a keeper. It is going to be a keeper, folks. Quite comfortable 101 micro quad keeper. If you notice, I like micro quads. I don't really do a lot of 250 size quads. When you know the full size quads, the reason being they, you can't really fly them anywhere. You know, around people. This one isn't too bad. This one, people aren't going to complain because it's so small. Three point four seven. Saying, think about landing now. Three point four seven. Not yet. Go around this pole. I've never went over here, so maybe I am set to two hundred milliwatts. So I am going to land it soon, though. Whoops! Oops! Get a little fuzzy, so I'm going to land it soon. Let's land it right about there, save ourselves some battery power here. Where's my landing pad? There it is. Plop. So, what was my flight time? About four, almost five minutes with that uh, Warris battery. And I still had power to go. So I like it. I like this. It's a Lizard 105S. Well thought out quadcopter, well designed quadcopter in my opinion. I'm sure others will have different opinions. <laughs> but oh, let me stop that video recording. 
Remember, where's that button at, folks? Remember I told you right there. Okay, the light's blinking, so you got to hold that button down. Don't shut off the power until that light stops flashing. It's still flashing. Maybe it's quick press. Quick press? Yeah, quick press, not long press. <laughs> quick press starts and stops it. So that recorded that video. We should have good video recorded. So, um, awesome little quadcopter, the 105S. I think it is. Um, it has everything you probably want in a, uh, a hefty quadcopter like this, or hefty micro quadcopter like this, including it comes with this 4S battery. I like that too. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. This quadcopter 101. Signing out with the Lizard from Machine, Lizard 105S. See ya.